Welcome guys, if you're not aware I actually have a crime channel as well where I do tarot readings, spirit sessions and case analysis. If you're interested, subscribe guys, there's a link in the description box below. I'll see you over there. Hi lovelies, welcome. I'm so glad you could be here with me today. I haven't done this for a little while with the pick a card reading so I'm really happy to be bringing you this uh, reading today. This is going to be a quick pick a card um, based on some love messages from your person and I just wanted to quickly say that I am uh, I'm, like I'm really happy <laughs> because I got these cards in the mail today and these are from another YouTube content creator. She's a tarot reader as well and she has created these beautiful cards. Uh, they are also available on makeplayingcards.com. As you know, I have created a lot of my own decks, but I also use a lot of other uh, YouTube content creators' uh, cards as well. And these are just gorgeous. This is from the Red Fairy Tarot. And I'll put a link in the description box for her channel. She's amazing. I love her stuff. I love watching her videos and I love how she speeds it up as well. But it's just so great. And I just love these cards. So she's created these cards, absolutely gorgeous illustrations, they feel really nice with the matte um, finish, I think they are, and they're just, oh my god, the I just fell in love with the emotion in the pictures, like I'm such a visual person, like I love um, connecting with my tarot with, you know, the really beautiful visuals here, so how gorgeous are they? Yeah, I'm just showing you a few of them. <laughs> but I just, I think they're gorgeous and they're really lovely to shuffle and I'm using these today. Okay, so I'm going to be using, um, not the whole deck, but I have actually um, used some for your readings today. So let's get started. So we have reading number one here with the white tulips. And it's so funny because when I first bought these little flowers, I actually thought they were roses for some reason, even though tulips are my favourite uh, flower. Um, but this is the white tulips. And we've got the red tulips here for number two. And we've got number three, which is the pink tulips. And for a lot of you, you know, this is very uh, special to me, this symbol. Uh, but the pink tulip is number three. So you can take a moment, you can put your person in mind, take a deep breath if you need to, pause the video and just focus on the cards or the f flowers, you know, or the number. Some of, sometimes people just have a special number in mind, like they always like to choose a special, you know, number two or number three, that kind of thing. I'm going to stop talking and I'll let you just focus and we'll get started shortly, guys. Hi group one, welcome guys. You chose the white tulips and I'm just trying to figure out where I'm going to put them now. I'll put them over here. And these are the gorgeous cards that I'm using for your love messages today. So we are doing a love messages card and I'm sorry if you heard the animals in the background. One is licking himself and the other one is, uh, you know, squealing in the background. So as you know, I'm a cat lover, an animal lover. I have sunshine as well, the cockatiel. Um, but let's get started. So I just wanted to quickly see what energy your person's currently in right now regarding the connection, okay? And then we'll get into all these juicy messages. So the death card and the five of pentacles. So I think that they're feeling a void. I think that they're feeling the loss of something here. It's quite heavy. Yeah, I keep getting that feeling of being empty, like feeling there's a void without you. Um, so for some of you, for a lot of you, this is a reading where you're not together or there's a separation. Um, yeah, I mean, it could be that you are together, but there's something going on. But I definitely feel like your person just feels really down. They're feeling like they've lost you. And they feel 
Maybe they rejected you or you've rejected them, but they're feeling down and out. And it's just like this real gloom, like a, things are dull in their life around uh, this situation here. Maybe there's a lot of regrets here as well, but not feeling good enough. Um, maybe they didn't make you feel good enough. And there's a lot of, yeah, as I said, regret. Uh, we got the 13 and also the 5. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, yeah. Sorry. <clears throat> yeah, <laughs> this is, if you know me well, you'll know that when my throat starts playing up during a reading, um, it's usually because they have something they need to say to you, but they're not saying it. So maybe they're not giving an apology at this time. Maybe not giving an explanation or, you know, acknowledging something. They might be in victim mode, just feeling sorry for themselves, um, you know, but I feel there is this missing you. I feel like there is a where did things go wrong. Maybe they're not really looking at themselves clearly and seeing, you know, that it's like that accountability, looking at where things might have gone wrong. Um, yeah, so... Yeah, it's definitely a victim thing. Like they might be feeling like, you know, I mean, not to say that they don't know that they might have done something wrong here, but I definitely feel that for a lot of you, they're not really owning it. Uh, yeah, they're just feeling sorry for themselves and, and they're missing you. They're feeling, you know, that um, it is what it is and, you know, they should be picking themselves up if they really want to fight for this and go for it, you know, help, you know, to uh, repair this if it can be repaired. But it's almost like they have this uh, defeatist attitude of it's just all too hard. Uh, you know, it's almost like this this feeling of, um, yeah, doom and gloom. And it's just like, I don't know if there's any point in, you know, coming forward and maybe they're not ready to really face themselves. This is just how they are. You know, it's, it's that kind of energy right there. Um, yeah, so let's have a look at their messages, okay? And I'm sorry if this seems really heavy. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. I can feel it. And, ah, oh, geez, maybe this is a raw thing between you or it's just something that still weighs heavily on them. Um, yeah, they haven't let this go, though. They're really not shaking it. And it could have been, too, like, I see this person here with, you know, with their hoodie on and they could have just let themselves go a little bit. They might not really be taking care of themselves, um, hiding away from people and just... You know, when you're feeling a bit depressed in life and just feel like you're not making it or you're not confident, you just kind of let things go. And maybe that's how they are a little bit now. But what do they want to say to you? You are the only one who gets me and knows the real me. And choose love, not fear, triple six, three D. So maybe they are trying to, you know, learn to choose love and not fear. That's something that they are living in at the moment is a lot of fear. And they've had to cut their losses with things, but they're not really maybe learning. So, yeah, but they know that you see a wound in them. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, you see a wound in them. And it's not to justify maybe how things have been, you know, transpired between you. But uh, there's an understanding here of some sort. Share your gifts with the world. So they recognize that you are a special person with a lot of unique gifts to share with the world. And it doesn't matter anymore. Yeah, it's kind of like that energy of, oh, it doesn't matter anymore. I'm not who I used to be. So, yeah, it's kind of like it is what it is. I can't change. Um, and you were always my favorite. So it says here, jealousy. I feel like you've moved on without me and that's difficult for me to see. So they could be keeping an eye on things from afar. Uh, on social media, you know, through word of mouth or seeing you out and about. And they're just kind of feeling like they're hiding in the shadows and that you're just somebody that's too good for them. Um, rejection. I'm uneasy about myself. I don't know if I can truly make you happy. Yeah, there's a lot of insecurity. They might be a jealous person. They might be someone who is not really showing that side of themselves or never have. Um, they might, you know, they might... Um, express it in different ways 
So rather than saying, hey, I'm insecure and, you know, talking about it and expressing how they feel about themselves, it might come out in them lashing out or shutting down or something along those lines. I just want to have fun with you. So they don't want to have all this serious issues in the connection. See, I don't think this person's really ready to face what it is they need to face to work on themselves. Uh, it's almost like if they're told by you that they have something to work on, that, you know, that, you know, their part in it, that they might have contributed to this breakdown or, um, they just almost like feel like it's a, a personal attack on them. So it's almost like they're not emotionally mature enough to understand, Hey, I, you're right. I do need to own this and, and really work on this and ring. I promise you. Yeah. Some of you might've gotten, been given a ring. You might have had this real commitment with this person. Um, that's right. You had quite a few of these ones come up. And um, yeah, I feel like this is something they envision is being committed to you, being that person for you. It's a bit of a fantasy they play out in their head. And within a year or more, so they might feel that, especially if you're in other connections as well, they might feel that... Um, you know, they want to see where things go with you for another year. Uh, what's going to happen, you know. And um, could be that at the, t at the moment they're just not ready to commit. But they want to. And they, want, they know they need to grow. Energy. You've been thinking about me because I've been thinking about you. We're connecting. So they have you deep in their thoughts right now. They really have you on their radar. Uh, they are really keeping an eye on things. And if you could see my pain, you'd understand how much I do love you. So there is a sadness here because they may have never really been able to express it fully. Maybe it was too late. Um, yeah, and for some of you, you really needed that validation. You really needed to, you know, you need to hear it or you needed to hear it. Sometimes I look at you and wonder how I got to be so damn lucky. They said that, you know, you're their favorite and... You stand out amongst the rest. And even if they're in another connection, it doesn't mean they don't, you know, have feelings or are committed or whatever's going on there. I think a lot of them are single. But if your person is in another connection, I feel like they're comparing it because no one compares to you. And I love that we share the same kind of humor and crack each other up over the silliest things. So they're reminiscing over this and as I said some of you could be in contact already and there's just these other issues that are playing out um, but they love to have a laugh with you and have play and banter and let's lay back look at the stars and talk about our dreams. So this person's a deep person I think they do really feel things quite deeply very sensitive um, and might take things the wrong way but they think about things in a very unique way as well in the world. And yeah, I want to just sit back and just philosophize or, you know, talk about like a fantasy in their mind about the future and how things can be. And I tried to deceive you, but I was only deceiving myself. The player got played. So there's a mask. They weren't being forthcoming with what they were feeling truly. Um, and there could have been a betrayal for some of you, but I feel like for the majority of you, it's just that they kept their feelings so close to their chest, like they were literally not... Uh, expressing it or sharing it but they have a surge of love happening for them right now and you have this effect on me makes me think I'm losing my mind so you have got them questioning so much about this connection about themselves even um, you know they don't feel good enough for you they just see you as this star like this shining star in the world they look up to you um, they think you're amazing and I am so lost in the ocean that is you <clears throat> I am building my career and finances. Financial security is important to me. Uh, which is really interesting because the Five of Pentacles is all about, um, you know, being out of luck, you know, feeling like you're not abundant, feeling like you could be homeless. You know, it's that kind of feeling where you're just not making it in the world, in the financial uh, parts here as well. So, the, you know, your person could definitely be starting again, uh, might have gone through a divorce or just uh, is going through some massive cycle in their life where they've had to start again and they're really building themselves up. They could be starting a whole new business. Uh, interesting, the root chakras come up again. 
I will provide a solid foundation for us. I will always be someone you can rely on. And that's something that they are kicking themselves for because I think that's what they've always wanted to provide. Um, you know, be a strong rock for you. Be someone you can be proud of. And let's set this love free and wash over me. I'm miserable without you. You are my castle in the sky. Yeah, they look up to you. And it was my fault, but I blamed you. You speak to me through music. So they're listening to music, and it could also be that they are a musician. I need to know how deeply you care. I'm afraid I will lose myself in you. And I cannot escape the way you make me feel. Yes, your feelings are correct. Our chemistry is so strong right now. So if you've been thinking, am I losing my mind or, you know, why do I keep thinking of them or feeling like they're right with me or why am I getting these sexual feelings? It's because they're feeling it and they're really deep in thought about it, almost like meditating on this, um, about how much they miss you and desire you. You are the only one who makes me this wild. I know you are my twin flame. So they may actually know the terms, uh, the term twin flame. But either way, they see you as their person and they can't shake you. They're mesmerized. They're hooked on you. They may be a bit obsessed by you at the moment. Um, yeah, I want to get another card here just to see what other energy. I'm so tired of feeling alone and all of the anger I hold back is burning up inside of me. So there's some issues for sure they need to deal with. Um, there's like this, uh, getting angry with life, getting angry because other people are making it in relationships in the world. They just can't seem to get it right. Um, and that's upsetting them because especially for some of you, if you're just getting on with life and you've forgotten about them, uh, or they think you have, uh, or you're in another connection, they're just really feeling like they're on the outer looking in at all the good things, you know, that other people or you are um, undergoing and I want it all and I deserve it all so there is this feeling of I deserve it but they're not taking the action steps they just expect it so they need to be able to earn their way you know back into this they need to show you I suppose that they are trustworthy uh, there might have been a trust issue um, they've just really got to work on themselves I feel here guys so let me know how this is for you um, yeah, but they have a lot of love for you and they really do miss you. And if anything, they put you up on a bit of a pedestal. Um, they've really just got to work on themselves and see the good in them because there is this uh, defeatist attitude. They need to overcome it. And it's almost like even if people give them a compliment, they don't really believe it. Um, and this is funny, you know, because sometimes people like this can put on a show. They can... Um, they can sometimes put on a mask of being all that and being really great and getting on with life and, you know, they get they get it all. Um, and sometimes for some people it can be cocky. It doesn't have to be for this person. Um, but it's just a mask and they might just fake it till they make it. But, yeah, they need to get real with themselves. And sometimes the only way they can do that is by hitting rock bottom and starting again and, and counting their losses, being able to look at things and think, well, that happened because of this and my part in it was this and I need to change this about myself. And um, you've really got them thinking, though, about this stuff. And that's really good. Hope it's resonated, guys. I look forward to connecting with you next time. Love and blessings. Oh, hi, group two. I just realized a card was out. <laughs> you chose the red tulips. I'm going to move these ones. How gorgeous are they? Excuse me, let's see what's going on with your person. So we're going to get some energy cards. Where are they sitting at regarding this connection? We've got the Six of Cups and the Two of Wands. Beautiful energies, oh my God. And I love these cards, they're so cute. Okay, so, mm -hmm. wow, they're feeling a pull back to you guys. Mm -hmm. No matter where they are in the world. They are feeling the pull towards you. They are nostalgic. They're thinking maybe even literally of traveling back to, you know, a, a place in time where you guys were both really happy. Maybe coming back to where you are. Um, it could be that they're thinking about going back to their childhood roots. Um, but regarding this connection, they feel at home with you. 
you are their soulmate and there might have been a pathway that pulled them somewhere else. They might have moved. They might have relocated. They might be in another country. Uh, there could be that you're overseas or at a long distance from each other. But even if you're not, even if you are close by, I feel like they're trying to work out what next best step, which pathway should they go down to return to you. And they have happy memories. They're thinking of the happier times together. I just love this card here. It's so beautiful, all the happiness and the joy. And I feel like that's what they're thinking about is all the happy times. Like you guys are two peas in a pod, um, you know, and the six and the two is all about harmony and balance and it's seeing eye to eye and they're just really wanting to be by your side. They want a reunion. They are trying to find a way or they're just deeply pondering on it anyway, on how to return so let's see what they want to say alignment triple eight you are on the path of light so i think that they're seeing the way forward the pathway is paved for them and they can see the way forward so it's almost like there might be um you know two pathways that they can choose they might be thinking should i wait um, or should I go down somewhere else? Or should I come back to this? Like I feel like they, they might be uh, just pondering on where they next need to be. Yes, because something else could be pulling them elsewhere. And it could be another connection they're in or a job or family issues or distance. Uh, but yeah, I definitely feel like they can see where they want to be with you. Oh, look at this yin yang, triple two balance. So if you're seeing 888 and two two twos, this is just, you know, reminding you that your person could even be a twin flame with the yin and yang here. It doesn't have to be, you know, but uh, I feel like everything's falling into place here and they're feeling it. Like they're feeling in a very calm space. They're definitely in maybe your energy because they're just so focused and in their mind. They're in their imagination. They're in their feels, in their heart space. And they're just feeling so inspired to take this action to be with you. And the end of a cycle, 999, completion. This is amazing because there's so many cards in this deck. And they're not all numbers. So I'm finding this amazing with all the sequences. So there is something coming to a close in their life. As I said, it, you know, it could be a relationship. could be just that they're ready to move and come back to a situation. Maybe come back to where you guys were together in the same town. Um, maybe they've got parents or family in the same area that you live in. You know, it could be that. I have no regrets. They have no regrets about how things, you know, were between you or, or are. You know, some of you might be together. It could be just that your person is somewhere else at the moment. And factors, we're so different. I'm trying to figure out how this is going to work. Yeah, and for a lot of you, it is distance. Um, but, you know, no matter how you look at it, could be financial, uh, could be that you have different backgrounds, could be you're in different connections. There's something that they're just trying to work out, even logistically. How can this work? And yes, it says yes. So it's a positive. It's a yes. They're feeling a yes, <laughs> okay, for this connection. And home. Oh my gosh, you're the missing puzzle piece that makes me feel that I'm right where I belong. Oh my gosh. This is so beautiful because it is like coming back home you know, to each other. It's so beautiful. So no matter where they are, even if they do come from somewhere else, and it doesn't have to be another country, but even if they're living somewhere else entirely from, from you, um, no matter where they are in the world with you, they will feel at home. And I wish I could turn back time. I do things differently. There is so much of life I want to share with you. Oh, this is so sad. Like for some of you, it could be that you've had years, you know, uh, apart from each other, there's just some regret here, but even, as I said, even if you are together, they're just looking back and, and just kind of wishing. It's like nostalgic, okay? They're kind of like wishing that, you know, they had have met you earlier in life or something. My heart never knew loneliness until you walked away. I'm missing you. And I get so lost in your eyes. Time stops when we're together. 
I admire your strength. And my life has been so cold and lonely without you in it. I have never met anyone like you. You intrigue me on every level. Yeah, this person's really into you. Excuse me. I keep um, having this thing indigestion, but they they're so into you. I feel like um, they're so in your energy. It's just crazy. I think they're looking at your photos or something, or uh, even if you are in contact, like there's so much they want to share with you about. And I, I really feel like this person would talk to you. Like, I feel like it's time. Like if they haven't before, it's like they want to. Oh, yes, there's a past life connection here for sure. So for a lot of you, you have had a past, like a, a strong past history together. This is not just you meeting. This is like a past relationship you've had together. They they miss you. This could, As I said, it could have been years apart for some of you. And they're thinking of you and they, they want to come forward and tell you all the things they never got to. Um, it's like that lost love, like especially if you guys kind of crossed paths as well and had a short relationship and then went off on different paths, you know, different relationships or whatever. It could be that as well. And then you come back together. Like they want to come back together again and revisit this thing here. Um, they feel like you've had past lives together. And I think about you when I'm intimate with others. Mm, so there could be other connections or another relationship. Maybe they're in the middle of leaving a, a relationship now too. Your picture brings me to tears. Didn't I just say they're looking at your photos? Oh, that's so sweet. You make me so happy. I can't wipe the smile off my face. Listen to your inner voice. Please don't be influenced by what other people say. So they might be really uh, thinking that, you know, if they come back into your life, what will your family or friends say? Um, I crave making love to you. I feel so much passion for you. And take off the mask. So it could be that they're now taking off a mask. Forever yours. Wow, this person, you might not have any idea this person feels this deeply. And I've been waiting for your call. I'll keep you warm. Ha, <laughs> so cute. Didn't they say they felt cold and lonely? I can't remember now. I think they did. Um, yeah, so I can't stop thinking about you. I look for you everywhere. Oh my gosh, this is so sad because I feel like they really are. They, no, they, this person has not shaken you. They really um, have never forgot you. And as I said, if you're in contact even now, they just cannot wait to be with you. Um, they cannot stop thinking about you. It's almost like they don't really see... Um, it's hard to explain. Like, I feel like they're not really looking. Even if they're in another connection, it's almost like, yeah, it's like, you, it's all, like you're who they see. Yeah, for some of you. Let me love you to death. Through my lessons, I've become stronger and wiser. When you hear our song, know that I am with you. And trust. So you might have a special song. Or if you're hearing a song that just keeps playing in your head or... Um, you know, one that stands out to you. This is their message coming through. And they're letting you know that they've grown in themselves. They've grown up now. They've matured. I want to surrender to your passionate whim whims and fulfill your every desire. Sometimes all I can think about is our bodies intertwined and I'm not who I used to be. Yeah, there's, there's growth. There is growth here. So it's so funny. Like, I feel like... They really, they might actually surprise you in terms of, you may not expect what they come out to tell you because they may have never really been that way in expressing that way. Um, but there's an explanation, I feel. So what other energies are they in? Oopsies. So I'm just miserable and I'm really tired of pretending I'm not. So there's something they're unhappy with in their life. It's not fulfilling. And they keep, you know, when they think of that home and that happiness and where they feel safe, um, yeah, they're thinking of you. You're the, you're the person that comes to their mind. Oh, what was this one? Can we forgive and forget surrender and naive? I adore your innocence and riddled with guilt and shame. So oh, maybe there's something they do want to set straight with you. They want to clear the air. They maybe want to apologize for something. They might have felt really guilty with something how 
you know, they've uh, behaved or how something might have ended. They, they cannot get it off their mind. They want to make things right with you. So they want to clear the air. Yeah, that's amazing that. So I feel like this person's got a lot of love for you that they may have never shared. Um, it's quite amazing. I do feel like they have definitely grown. And yeah, it's interesting because for some of you, you might not have really expected this from this person to, to um, like, you know, their life to be evolving in this way. Yeah, there's a lot of regrets here, like saying, I wish I could turn back time, I'd do things differently. So maybe in some ways, for some of you, there might have been a chance to be with each other and they chose another direction. And now they're really, you know, regretting that. So it could be along those lines. Um, but I hope this has resonated, guys. This person has a lot of love for you and they want to return to you. And if you haven't heard from them in a long time, be ready to, because I feel like for a lot of you, they are going to reach out to you because they are so fixated on you. Um, I look forward to connecting with you guys next time. Love and blessings. Hi, group three. Welcome, guys. You chose the gorgeous pink tulips. Just going to move these ones. Oopsies. Yeah, and uh, we're going to have a look at the cards here. So we've got the energy of your person right now. What energy are they in regarding this connection? So the Knight of Pentacles and the Four of Wands. How beautiful. So this could be a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. I usually see it as a Virgo energy and I've got a couple of messages coming through so your person I feel is very committed they are a down-to-earth very serious person when they want something they they go for it um, and for some of you it could be slow moving in terms of a proposal uh, or they have proposed and you know a wedding or marriage could be fair off in the distance um, but they want to do things right and for some of you, your person could already be married. They could be in another connection that is just something that's been a long-term thing for them. Maybe they've been in it for a long time. Um, yeah, but I feel like your person... We're going to get into the messages, but I feel like they're thinking of you. So regardless of what your person's situation is, they're very... Uh, it could be if they are in another connection that they are very loyal to that connection, but you're in their mind. So we're going to see what's going on here. And for some of you wondering, you know, is your person, you know, would they want to commit? I feel like they would. Under the right circumstances, I feel like they would. So let's have a look. I feel so lost without you. I'm heartbroken over you. And for some of you, you were going to get married. There might have been an engagement. It might have been broken off. Uh, there might have been talk of a life together for some of you as well. You need to take care of yourself right now. Some of them could have chosen someone else. Time. I know the clock is ticking for us. Why Won't you wait for me? So for a lot of you, this is a third party situation uh, where they could be in a marriage or a relationship. And for some of you, it doesn't have to be romantic. It doesn't have to be. Maybe it's something else that they're dedicated to and that they have ties to, like family obligations, uh, take it as it resonates for your situation. But for whatever reason, I feel like this person could be tied up in something where they just cannot be with you now. But, you know, it's almost like um, that forbidden love or star-crossed lovers kind of thing. But for some of you as well, the messages can be that they are wanting this with you. Um, you know, they might not be in a connection, but they're, they're wanting to do this the right way and it could be taking them forever <laughs> to kind of get to this point. Um, but look, I haven't really moved on from us and, and thinking of making contact. So that take that as it will resonate. I have mixed feelings. One minute I am sad, the next I am angry. So there's a heartbreak here. There's a sadness. There's an anger. Please wait for me. Um, they're not happy with the situation they're in right now. They know that you need to, you, you know, you need to put your attention and priorities, you know, into, you know, what am I saying? You need to make your own life a priority, your health, your relationships, your life ahead of them. But it's almost like they're thinking, I have no right to hold you back. You know, you need to still live your life, even though I'm caught up in this stuff in my head or in my life. 
I've lost all faith. I don't think I can ever trust again. And I often think of reaching out to you, but stop myself out of fear. So they haven't really moved on from you. They're thinking of making contact, but they can't because they're scared. Maybe they don't want to rock something they're already in. Um, or they're just afraid of your reaction. And they're undergoing stuff here. So I want to be with you for the rest of my life. And yeah, I feel like for some of you only that they are regretting a decision they've made about moving into another connection or, or staying in a long-term commitment that they're not happy in um, when they could have been with you. So I am so grateful for even knowing you. You are so awesome. And karma has a way of making a person see things crystal clear. So they are not happy in a situation they're in right now. And they can't get out of it. I feel like I'm going to explode with all of the love that I have bottled up inside for you. Um, yeah, for a lot of you, I do feel that this is somebody who there's like a barrier. I think that for a lot of you, seriously, this is a third party. And it could be that you're in the connection. Uh, but yeah, I feel like there's something that's stopping you guys, stopping it. Pure contentment and falling in love. Yeah, they really fall in love with you, like they fell in love with you so fast and heavy and deep. Um, and I think that they would feel that being with you in a lifelong partnership would be really, you know, you would um, have a life of pure contentment together. Uh, but they may have sabotaged something and chosen another pathway. Whatever, whatever it was, um, yeah, for some of you, you've actually had been promised just a little bit longer, you know, I will get my life together or I'll sort myself out or my finances or my family or I will get there soon, I'll be able to move, you know, whatever it might be, there's just something that keeps delaying and I get jealous when I think of others touching you and I want to spoon you and fall asleep together. And I get such a passion with this person, like they really get quite passionate and, and maybe angry. Um... You know that they can't be with you. You are my treasure. And I find everything about you so pleasurable and irresistible. And I live for your smile and would die for your kiss. So they would love to protect you. Like they would be someone that would just fight for you. Um, but for some reason they just cannot. And when I lose myself and feel imbalanced, you keep me grounded. So that might have happened in your connection together. Maybe it is if you if you know if you are together right now, they feel grounded. You do ground them. Um, I will always cherish you. I will wait for a sign from you, and we will we will be together again. So, yeah, it's interesting. It's interesting because I feel like if they are in a marriage or another connection or have other obligations, it's almost like that's where they're meant to be. It could be cultural or it could just be a commitment they've put themselves into. It's their values, uh, maybe their family, you know, their extended family or friends or other people would not support them in, in getting out of what they're in right now. Um, but they're saying, they're, you know, they're wanting this. We will be together again. You help me understand myself. So whoever's, you know, in their life right now... Um, getting in their ear or relationship they're in may not fully understand them and they really feel like you are quite mature and you're very insightful and you're in tune with them. Uh, listen to your heart over what others say. I want you to be happy and hold on to the happy memories and cherish the sad ones as they both bring great lessons. So I feel like this person's really learning in their, you know, whatever, uh, karmic lessons are coming in for them right now and the cycles they're going through I feel like uh, they're saying you know remember me remember me and don't forget the good times that you know we had together and whatever is sad or challenging between us see them as their lessons for both of us I just want you to be happy but it's almost like they're saying I really want you to be happy but please don't forget about me I really do want to be with you Seeing you triggers past pain within me. So there's a conflict. And my passion for you is so all-consuming. I want to feel your hands all over my body. I am longing for your touch. 
and lies. I can't seem to do what's right. Codependent, my hands are tied. So they might feel like they're living a lie at the moment with their situation, you know, if they've moved on in a marriage um, or, you know, time apart, whatever it might be. Uh, maybe they keep promising things that just know that, you know, they can't have this with you if you are together. Uh, they might just be feeling the fear of, you know, uh, coming forward and, and really putting it into words. I think that it's so weird because I think that this person would be really, they want a commitment. They are a loyal person and dedicated, but there's something about this connection with you that freaks them the hell out. Um, so they really want it with you, but they're, they're also scared. And they could be living a lie, you know, being in another connection with someone that they might love them, but they might not be like hugely passionately in love with them. I swear I didn't do it innocent and intuitive. Trust your inner knowing. So trust your inner knowing. Yeah. So yeah, it might be that they just um, are really good at not taking accountability when they really need to. They might skirt around the issue. Um, but I think what they're also saying is like, trust, you do know me, like you really do know me. So what might seem on the, on the surface to be me being a game player or untrustworthy, you know, they could be saying, well, I, you know who I really am. It's just these things that are getting in the way. But for some of you, you might think, well, you just need to step up and, and get out of that connection. If it is another one, um, or whatever situation they're in right now, just, just, you know, take the bull by the horns and just move through, move past it. If it's an issue with distance or, or family, you know, and for some of them, there could be a cultural thing going on uh, as well here where there's a lot on their plate. There's a lot on their shoulders here for like responsibility. They might have to really be taking care of their um, parents or there's just some responsibility I feel on their shoulders here as well. So even if it's not a marriage or a relationship, there's definitely something that they feel like they have to be uh, responsible for. That's the only word I can think of. Um, so they are not kind of like free to just, you know, go after this and you could be in different countries. There's so many reasons. I mean, what am I saying? There's so many yeah, reasons or yeah, there's things there it's like a barrier. Um, and it could be that you've moved on, you know, it could be that you are in another connection, uh, or have let this go. And this person's not let this go. They haven't let it go, but they're not also coming forward and letting you know all this stuff. So, and it could be because they are trying to be loyal and, um, you know, dedicated and a good person to the other person in their life, if that's the case. But remorse, I know I've messed up and it's killing me. Please forgive me. I'm sorry. So they really do feel um, really sorry about something. They might have really hurt you and they might have just ghosted you. For some of you, they might have just shut something down and moved on didn't give you an explanation, promised all this stuff with you in a life. Uh, that could be for some of you. Um, but whatever it is, they're really feeling torn. Yeah, they're feeling really torn. They feel like if they leave the situation, then they're going to have to apologize and, and they're going to feel really guilty for that situation. Um, and maybe feel like they're going against something they promised, you know, that they were sticking to in their mind, their values, whatever. Um, and yet they feel like if they turn their back on you, they're sorry to do that. So it's, it's really bizarre. Like maybe you can tell me what's going on here. Um, yeah, if this doesn't resonate, you can always choose another pile, but I feel like this person's very conflicted. They have a lot of feelings for you, but there's definitely something that they are, uh, stuck in and they have a lot of fears. Like they want to show you that you are the queen or the king. They want to show you that you are the person they choose. Um, yeah, but they can't. It's just like they cannot. Something is stopping them. And it could be fear. Or, yeah, for a lot of you, I seriously feel like there's another person um, there. Yeah, and they might be aware of you. That other person could be aware of you. And so that's another reason why your person's really hush-hush, like not 
doing anything or saying anything to you. Um, but anyway, guys, that is your reading. I hope it's resonated. Uh, if not, check out another deck or another pile uh, or another reading even. There's heaps on my channel. Please like, comment, comment, subscribe. I'm a bit tired now. And I look forward to connecting with you guys next time. Love and blessings.